Hey everyone, this is Manny. Um, I figured I'd do something a little bit different for you guys today. Uh, most of you guys know me as a power lifter and most of my videos have been lifting videos, but I'm also a registered dietitian and today I'm going to do a nutrition video for you guys. Uh, so this past weekend I was in Atlanta for FINCI, which is the Food and Nutrition Conference and Expo um, hosted by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And, you know, the conference sessions, you know, they had a lot of educational sessions, but there were also, there was also this big expo hall, which for those of you who don't know, is where a lot of the vendors from the food industry get to showcase their wares and doing a lot of promotion giving away a lot of informational handouts as well as free samples, lots of free food and other goodies. Um, and so as part of the registration fee, every attendee gets a little bag to put all of this free stuff. And yeah, I only have a half full bag. You know, I've been to several fences and I know they give away a lot of stuff, so I try not to get too much stuff, especially since airlines are now charging lots of fees for checking in the bags. But, you know, hold this up, and as you can see, you know, it's a half full bag. It's pretty happy, you know. Some people have put so much stuff, they've torn their bags, and, you know, other people have got. Uh, taking additional bags, you know, bags are one of the giveaways that, you know, a number of the companies have given, you know, because you just get so much stuff. Um, but, you know, so I figured I'd show you, you know, just a couple of things, you know, just to highlight some of the trends in the food and nutrition industry. And just one quick disclosure, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with any companies, so that sell food so yeah I don't really have anything to disclose I'm not affiliated with anything in that I show in this video all opinions are my own um, but anyway let me go ahead and show you some stuff and again not everything that is given away is food like for example Barbara's granola gave me this cute little bowl and you know it's kind of tough to see here but it even has little lines you, you measure out your portions, you know, like half a cup or you know, one cup of whatever the cereal is. Lunch is grape juice, interestingly enough, gave me this little wine stopper. Well, yeah, I guess wine is just yeah, fermented grape juice, so that's kind of cool. Um, it realigns to advance patient nutrition, giving this water bottle comes in handy. Right, let me go ahead and show you some food. So Quaker came out with this reduced sugar instant oatmeal, 50% um, less sugar. And I'm looking through the ingredients, you know, it looks like, you know, this does contain sugar and brown sugar, but you know, it also contains stevia. Now it says no artificial sweeteners. So stevia technically is natural, but it is a non-nutritive sweetener. So that's how they can reduce the sugar and reduce the calories in this product a little bit. Let's see. The Quicker also came out with this quinoa granola bar, which is kind of interesting. Quinoa is the first ingredient. Um, so it does actually contain quinoa, not like small fraction of quinoa but there are other grains I see granola you know, whole grain rolled oats whole grain rolled wheat so you know, for those of you who are looking for something gluten free stay away from this this, is, this isn't gluten free it does have wheat in it um, oh yeah, I, I guess they just wanted to jump on the quinoa bandwagon because it is becoming a popular superfood these days. Uh, speaking of quinoa, I've got Elizabeth Hasselbeck's No Ghee, which is this gluten-free line of whey and quinoa protein. 
Looking at the label, I see 8 grams of carbs to 10 grams of protein. I should note that this is a half size, not a full serving, but with that kind of carb to protein ratio, this almost seems like more of a meal replacement than a you know, real protein. I mean, you know, quinoa is part of the protein blend. You know, this does also have some maltodextrin from corn, so yeah, and some cane sugar, so you know, a bit higher in carbs than you know someone who's looking for a pure protein powder, but I don't think this is a, a bad choice. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if you know, quinoa makes this most possible. I mean. You're more powerful. It, it does have whey, so it does have animal protein in it. Uh, okay. Speaking of protein, a little fun sized Power Crunch bar. Definitely not a full size one, but Power Crunch, also interestingly enough, has a protein powder out. Uh, yeah, again, the Power Crunch has been, been known mostly for its bars, but it's kind of interesting that they're selling a shake that has the name Crunch. I mean, you know, I don't know if people want Crunch in their shakes, but, you know, I, I, I digress here. Um, so, yeah, that's one. And then, yeah, another company that's given out protein powders is Bipro. They actually gave me three. One's, one's chocolate, and vanilla, and an unflavored powder. And speaking of protein, now we got some real food here. Oscar Meyer came out with this Key three, the portable protein pack. And so, you know, there are actually a number of different flavors of this, but you know, the main idea is you got you know meat, cheese, and nuts. You know, three good natural sources of protein. Speaking of nuts, Georgia is known as a peach state, but you know, it's also known for locally grown pecans. So, we got some of those. And Joy Bauer recently came out with this new snack line, Nourish Snacks. Seems a wide variety of simple, kind of little food items, and they're naturally grown. So, you know, this is the Mr. Popular half popped corn kernels. The ingredients are non GMO corn, soybean or sunflower oil, and sea salt. Um, 10 grams of fat to unsaturated, 19 grams of carbs with 5 grams of fiber, and 1 gram of protein per serving. So, these are nice little snack items. Speaking of snacks, got some little squishable fruit, one from uh, Plum Organics, which, you know, that. Deals solves mainly you know little organic fruits that you can put into these like little squeezable tube tubes. And then you know one from Dole, the more mainstream conventional. Um, anyway, yeah, I should know. You know, talking to Plum Organic, that most of their original products were marketed for kids, but now they're coming up with an adult line. You know, honestly, since you know, these are made from real fruit, you know, I don't see why an adult can't have something like this. You know, I mean, they, I guess the packaging looks a little kitty, but yeah, I think this is a decent choice. You know, kind of getting some uh, fruit on the go. Let's see what else. We got this little. Japanese iced coffee drink. You know, I'm talking about jumping on some trends. You know, they really highlight the fact that this has 
270 milligrams of chlorogenic acid. Now, coffee is a good source of antioxidants, and chlorogenic acid in particular is one of the more potent antioxidants in coffee. But you know, the roasting process does degrade chlorogenic acid a bit, um, so this is a more of a mild roast to try to preserve that antioxidant content. Um, And you know, we have this little stir you know, liquid water enhancer. I know liquid water enhancers have become pretty popular lately. You know, Mio's probably the most popular brand. You know, this in particular has 100% of your daily allowance of vitamin C and is sweetened with stevia. Um, so that's one. There were a couple of other items that. I didn't get a chance to pack, but I did try. I mean, Ocean Spray did come out with this packed you know, kind of cranberry water mix. So yeah, it's pretty low in calories, but it's it has you know mild cranberry flavor, and it does have some of the compounds, PACs from cranberries that you know, supposedly do have quite a few health benefits so you know, it's sort of an enhanced flavored water um, you know, yeah of course Chobani had a nice little booth yeah you know, did post on Instagram their kiwi lime flavor now comes in a hundred calorie version before it was just the in the two percent which is higher in fat um, but the, the hundred calorie version is fat free and you know, I really do like the key lime flavor so I'm pretty happy to see that you know, they have a lower calorie version now. Um, there are quite a few others. You know, I'm sure if I went through every single expo booth, you know, this video could take hours. Um, but yeah, you know, these are just some of the highlights of my own stash. Um, for the fellow RDs and uh, RT, RD to Bs, you know, students and interns who are at Fancy, I mean, I'm just kind of curious, you know, what were some of your favorite trends? Um, you know, feel free to comment below or you know, even make a video reply, show off some of your own favorite stuff. You know, I'd love to hear from you, see what some of your favorite trends are. I mean, you know, what do you think of some of these new food products? Um, again, I don't know if I'd recommend everything to clients, but it is nice to have some new options. Um, and that's about it for now. Yeah, again, you know, comment if you have any comments, questions about anything, or you know, want to do a video response of your own. And until next time, I'm out.